out of sight. Yeah. Well, this is where it all happens. What? Oh, my life. Far out. You know, it... It really is nice. It's warm, too. Yeah. You know, you're lucky you got to ride with me. Hitchhiking can be dangerous, you know. Uh, anybody can get a driver's license. You never know what evil's lurking behind the steering wheel. They're just people, man. I mean, people are people, right? Yeah, some people are people, and, you know, some people are weird. Yeah. I'll be right back. Hey, Tom. Tom. Tom! Uh, well, look, you're not going to believe this. Yeah. I was driving home tonight, and I picked up this chick who was hitchhiking, right? And she says, you have no place to stay tonight. So I said, why don't you stay with me? She says, groovy. <laughs> so? I told her she could stay over here tonight. Oh, okay, that's cool. No, no, you don't understand. She's gonna sack in here with me. You know, I hope. So I told her she could sleep in your bed. Oh, great, send her in. No, 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 no Tom, you don't understand. It's a sure thing. Look, she's a hitchhiker, right? Uh, well, huh? So uh, why don't you go up to Herbie's tonight and stay there? He's away for the weekend. What's she look like? Hmm, she's kind of a hippie type. Yeah, I figures. What do you expect me to pick up? A governor's daughter hitchhiking? <laughs> well, it's really not fair. Come on, Tom, I'd do it for you any time. Okay, then how about right now? You go stay at her. Come on, cousin. Come on, cousin. Let's go. That's it. Thank you. Pleasant dream. Who was that? Oh, yeah, him? Yeah, well, <laughs> he's, uh, he's the guy that lives upstairs. Yeah, and he, um, he's, he's a sleepwalker, and sometimes he ends up down here in this apartment. <laughs> A sight. It's like something out of a Fellini movie. Yeah. Are you hungry? You want something to eat? Yeah. Do you have any organic foods? I don't know. We'll see what the old cooler has. Huh? Huh? It's all yours. Ooh, wow, you got a lot of poison in there. Don't you care about your health? Yeah. Well, there's enough preservatives and cholesterol in there to wipe out an entire city. <laughs> Do, don't you have any health foods? Well, I, uh, tuna fish and, and bologna is not exactly a war weapon. I mean, and, and they are healthy. Yeah. Okay, it's your life. I just wish I had a nice dish of fresh seaweed around. <laughs> well, every forkful contains twice the daily requirements of vitamin A, B, B plus, C, and G. Plus a full complement of calcium, iron, and protein. If you can keep it down. <laughs> Listen, Earl, I, I mean, it, it's really nice of you to let me crash here. And, like, I, I don't want to offend you, because you're really a nice guy. But, uh, I have this thing about meat. And, like, uh, well, you know, we're all one family. The family of creatures. And creatures shouldn't eat creatures. Mm -hmm. uh, well, how about an egg, huh? I'm sorry, but, uh, that egg could have been a chicken, you know? Yeah, but it also could have been an unhappy chicken. <laughs> uh, well, um, so would you, um, like some wine? I mean, you... You do um, drink liquids, don't you? Just water. Just water. I haven't had any wine since the grape strike. Oh. Got plenty of water. Uh, do you have any spring water? No. Uh, well, I mean, uh, tap water's polluted, man. Uh, didn't you know that? No. <laughs> well, I'll just have a piece of cheese and an apple. Piece of cheese and an apple coming up. Getting ready for bed? No, no, I just thought I'd change into something more comfortable. Uh, you want to hear some good music? Huh? Oh, yeah. I got a real good outfit. I got some really good speakers. I got a good tuner. And here, see, I even got some earphones, too. Oh, huh? groovy. I love them. Yeah, well, put them on. Sorry, Rick. Oh. What's wrong? What's the matter? Oh, it sounds like a train wreck. Oh, well, that's because I had the demonstration record on there. <laughs> What's your trip, Earl? My... Oh, oh yeah. Well, at the moment, I'm in um, sales promotion for the um, Morton Tool and Die Company. Yeah. And that's what you do. And that's your thing. Well, yeah. I mean, somebody has to do it. What would the world be without tool and die makers? Oh, it'd be a better place to live in, man. It would be a better place to live in. Wow, what a drag. It's the tool and die people of the world who have gotten us into all of this. Into all of what? Oh, smog, pollution, suburbs, overpopulation, DDT, unemployment. 
Uh, war, poverty, racism, inflation, you name it. Name it? There's nothing left. Well, there's, there's, there's love, man. There's L-O-V-E, love. You gotta learn about love, Earl. Yeah, well, I'm sure gonna try. I'm, I'm really a good student. Yeah. Well, the first thing you gotta do, you gotta learn how to relax. You're too uptight. Oh, yeah, well, I'm just dying to relax. Yeah. <laughs> well, why don't you come lie down on the rug next to me? Lie down? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. Awesome. Oh, wow. Huh? This rug is really out of sight. Yeah, yeah, it's a authentic llama. Yeah. Llama? Yeah, uh... Hmm. What's the matter? You have dead animals on your floor? Man, that's barbaric. Would you rather lay down on a live llama? Couldn't you put it somewhere, just for now? I mean, it really brings me down. Oh, well, we don't want to bring it down. I don't want to put you on a bummer. Uh, it's just I... I have this thing about meat. Yeah, I know, I know. It's, uh, yeah, we're just all one big family. <laughs> gone it's out of sight <laughs> oh, listen earl I, I really don't want to hassle you i mean it's it's so nice of you to let me crash here i i, I think i ought to split oh no tippy no wait a minute it's just that you know we're strangers it takes a little time yeah? <laughs> what sign are you uh i'm gemini brilliant and erotic erratic <laughs> <laughs> you know that's not too bad yeah. i'm leo oh. you know if you had a cancer cusp that could really be groovy Oh, well, I'm sure I have a cancer cusp. I, I asked somebody about that once. <laughs> I think that underneath it all, you're really an okay guy. And, you know, I believe in people. Yeah, so do I. I believe in people, too. And don't forget the animals, our brothers. Oh, yeah. I just love animals. Yes. Aren't they groovy? <laughs> so do I, yeah. I, um, I mean, I'm getting rid of that rug tomorrow. Oh, well, hmm? can I kiss you? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I'm really not ready for you. You're really freaking me out. Well, I'm sorry. I'm... Oh, that's... You're just so uptight. Yeah, well, I know. I said, well, I'd really like to communicate with you, Tippy. I mean, I really would. I'm, I'm sure we could bridge the gap that separates us in, you know, in food and philosophy and hygiene. I'd just really like to get to know you. Yeah. Well, okay, if you're really sincere. Oh, yeah, Scout's honor. Okay. Do what I'm doing, then. What is this, like Simon says? Just sit in this position. Oh. And, hey. uh, we're going to take a trip. Oh. We're going to make that cosmic journey that will unite us. I'd really like to, but couldn't we go in a different way? Oh, no, just sit facing me. And, yeah. and put your legs in this position. Oh. Uh, and put this leg up here. Oh. Oh. Um. And now we're going to go someplace together. Couldn't we go lying down? <laughs> Now, just close your eyes and take a deep breath and, and chat the syllable no me o herengekyo. No me o herengekyo. No I don't. No me o herengekyo. No me o herengekyo. No me o herengekyo. No. No me o herengekyo. No me o herengekyo. No, you have to. No me o herengekyo. No me o herengekyo. No me o herengekyo. Beautiful. And him? Oh, he's never been more together. <laughs> he's never been more asleep either. He's with Buddha. Just let him be. I gotta go. Hey, listen, uh, will we see you again? Where are you headed? I don't know. I don't know either, but I'll take you there. Okay. 